I thank you very much for to the National University of Singapore, ISS Enterprise Singapore, Singapore Business Federation, and the Bangladesh High Commission. Thank you for arranging this. Most of the time, non-spoken challenge is really fundamentalism and the fear of having a country where Muslim majority is there that comes in the minds of people who are trying to invest in billions of dollars. Bangladesh is in fact quite on the other side of it, quite an equal country, very hospitable people, representing the largest uh, industrial sector with about 5,000 factories and about 5 million people. Out of that, as she has mentioned, 60% are women folk. That proves the equality that Bangladesh thinks, not only in terms of gender, in terms of religion, in terms of human being. We believe deeply in our heart that we are human beings and we are all equal. Any other industry, the workers know how an industry functions. They know that you have to be on time, you have to produce, you will get over time and so on and so forth. So the basis for an industrial revolution, if you call it, or manufacturing revolution, that aspect has been created. That possibility is there. Lands are fragmented and they can't get a large piece of land for their investment. Having said that, Bangladesh government has really taken this on and has removed this by creating economic zones. About 100 economic zones have been established and everybody who requests land now can get land from these economic zones. One of the, one of the challenges that you've had in developing countries, lack of electricity, which has been right removed in Bangladesh. The summit group has been investing in Bangladesh for the last 40 years and invested about two and a half billion dollars in Bangladesh. Each and every home would be having electricity. Uninterrupted 50 hertz electricity is what they would be receiving. And the country has about 70,000 kilometers of fiber optics. The 40,000 kilometers of fiber has been laid by summit. They are operating with 3G and will hopefully leapfrog into 5G enabling the whole world to be connected in Bangladesh in instances. Ports, my good lord, amazing. The government of Bangladesh is expanding its port facilities, which is a very modern port with 14 meter craft, deep sea port, into the south of Bangladesh. That will be able to take in 100, 200,000 tons of ships. And they're creating a whole city over there, the Matabari project with the investment of about $7 billion. It's really 170 million people growing at 1.1%, as well as these people are earning now $1,900 to $1,950, with a GDP of about $300 billion, rising at 8.13%. That's a huge consumption. Who can afford to not go into this market of consumers? So here you have a huge opportunity of shifting your manufacturing to Bangladesh. Receive the low cost of workers, receive these amazing infrastructures and then being able to access the international market. Really, manufacturing is the thing to do in Bangladesh for the local market as well as for the international market. Bangladesh has risen and shall rise. That is inevitable. Let us be part of that.